Good morning, everybody. Um, I get the shop all to myself today. It's a pretty, a pretty rare occurrence because usually Grant is fiddling away with something constantly out here. So it's kind of exciting. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to work on stuff by myself. I will say, as much as I like working with Grant, like working with my dad, there is something really special about working on something yourself. I don't know if I find it very satisfactory. Here, this is our project. It's a Ford 460 irrigation motor. It looks uh, fairly beat on. I don't know, not the not the cutest looking thing. Um, but I believe they put a new block on this um, before last year's irrigating season. And uh, don't mind our duct tape. The whole thing has been winterized, and so we don't want any moisture getting in it. Even though we haven't seen any snow yet this winter in Nebraska. All right, so the whole reason why this is in the shop in the first place is because mid-season this past summer, the water pump went out. And when they took it apart, they realized that at least what Grant and his dad think happened is that there wasn't a backing plate on it, this thing right here. So the blades weren't channeling the water directly, blades wore out. Anyways, water pump, water pump went out. When they replaced it, they didn't have a backing plate. And it, because midsummer irrigation is kind of the only thing on our minds, uh, the most important thing is to just keep the pivot running at all costs. So they just put it back together, knowing that after the season, they'd pull it in the shop and fix it. So since we have a backing plate now, I'm going to be taking all this stuff apart putting the backing plate on, and uh, hopefully this water pump is, is doing okay. So I'll check all that out as well. And I will be doing all of this with these long nails. I know it's crazy and it seems to blow everybody's minds every time I film a video and show you guys my nails, but I promise it's possible to work with these things. <laughs> I loosened this hose here. Oh man, I missed one bolt. Here we go. Okay, now it should be ready to come off, maybe? Go, folks. Look at that. Ugh. All right, next thing we're going to do is line up this backing plate here. All right. Um, okay. I'm thinking that maybe this is not right. It's no matter, oh, nope. No matter which way you flip it, that does not 
That does not work. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess there's nothing really else I can do until I get the right backing plate. Mm, so yeah, I guess stay tuned for part two of me working on this here. Um, but until then, Grant has been working on the military truck behind me without me. He's just way too excited. Um, so if you want to know more about the military truck, watch my most recent video. Um, <laughs> but this is, this is Grant working on the military truck without me. Digging around in this, uh, military truck and I found how to hook up the pump here. So this is a lift pump and I don't know if it's pumping anything, but at least it's on. I'm assuming that needs to be on for this thing to run. Also cracked the injector line, so I bled all the air out of it. So it should have fuel to the motor. We'll see what happens. I think I need more battery. We'll pull the semi-truck batteries out. I just can't get this thing to turn fast enough, I don't think. So I have created a system to have a high amp 24 volt system anyway vice grips jumper cables you name it so hopefully we can get it to run So I think high range is either out of adjustment or doesn't work. So low range works though. That's probably all I ever drive this thing in though. So yeah, that is a good start. We got the truck running. We chopped some frame out of it. We took three or four feet off the back and we're putting the hitch back on, making her a little shorter. Issues though, so don't be too proud of me yet. Yeah, I see it's not exactly finished. It's, uh, it's not done, so yeah. That's right. We'll well, what, what happened? What happened? Well, 
This is just completely not right. There's something not. Well, we'll put that one on Dad. He was the one who found that part. Okay, sounds good. He went. Point. He went to a junkyard to find <laughs> Seriously? that. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Look okay. at that thing. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't gonna say anything. It looks used. But so what I want is to hear that thing start because oh. I go. I guess. I've heard it from all the way inside the house. <laughs> At least I assumed it was that. It, it's pretty yeah, loud. Sorry. I, so. got, I got kind of excited and did do a great job of filming this, but it runs, so man, yeah, Laura wasn't here. <laughs> Does that here. mean we can have it for scrap price? I, yeah, I guess so. I, we're going to have to drive it up to the co-op and weigh it. Okay. I don't know if we have time to do that today, but okay. we should drive it to town and weigh it. Well, Ooh, how much do you guys think it weighs? Drop guesses. Ooh. What, do, what do you think it weighs? Oh my goodness. I honestly... Uh, I'm going to go 11,500. 11,500 pounds. Wow. Okay. Look at the frame that rails on not, this thing. That was not even close to what my What were you guess. thinking? 300 I, pounds. I don't know. No. <laughs> I was going to say like... 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pounds? Yeah, but so a pickup, a pickup truck usually weighs like... Five to six thousand pounds. Okay, so definitely more than that. Oh, yeah. Boy. I mean, look at these frame rails. They are thick. This one's double walled. Well, you got a point there. So from the comments, I think I figured out this thing was like a ambulance truck or something. Like it was longer than a usual one. So that's why the frame is so thick. Well, and it's here the, to start. I'm, I'm okay. excited. Well, Great. It's been like what? In a couple of days. Okay, let's see well, it starts. Well, let's see it. So the battery system is very good. I, I don't even know if it's done. Okay, well, ready? I'm ready, I think. <laughs> Watch, watch any, any one of the videos pretty much I've ever posted. This guy is either robbing batteries from someplace, the geo, the pickup, anywhere. Well yeah, well So I don't have to buy another one. You know, that's what I should get him for Valentine's Day. Just a, a ton of batteries. I think that might be what I do. This is ridiculous. Batteries are hooked up. Ooh. Um, okay. All right, Grant. I'm ready. I just blew the breaker? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Why do I feel like everything is always just seconds away from exploding around here? <laughs> Guess what? What? There's a flat tire too. <laughs> a little smoky, huh? That's right.
<laughs> yeah, this is great. Power steering works. If it seems possible, I think this thing is louder outside than it is in the shop. You grant but are these supposed to be dirt bike whoops this is uh Project though, a total success. I'm really proud of you. Thanks. Good job. Yeah. Very, uh, very fun. The full, uh, the brakes don't work very well. I, the four wheel drive or six wheel drive doesn't work. So if you know how to make the front wheel drive engage, I think it used to be a vacuum, but there's no switch or anything. Uh, yeah. We're definitely still looking for advice on this. So yeah. if you know anything about trucks like this or can point us in the direction of anyone that does, Please comment. We're we, looking for we any did, and all advice. There were so many comments in the last video about this thing, and I did everything wrong to get this thing <laughs> started. Well, pretty much, yeah. So I've learned that I probably shouldn't put used motor oil in the tank because a few comments were like, no, it's not a multi fuel engine. Don't do that. And yeah, at some point I will be shortening the frame or finding some sort of flatbed for it. But for now, I'll just roll with it like this. So. It runs. I, I'm impressed. So, I really am. At some point, we'll take it to the uh, co-op scale and weigh it. So if you're uh, interested in following along on projects like this, please subscribe. And thanks for watching today's video. We'll see you later. Bye.